Hi everyone, how's it going? So on this video, I'm going to be trying this uh, matte surface clean. Now, being in Sydney, we've been under water restrictions for the past uh, month. It's gone to a higher level. Even though we've had a lot of torrential rain and the dam levels are back up, it's still slow coming through. I'm not going to wait anymore. I thought I'd try to clean the bike. As you can see on this one, it's quite dirty. Um, a lot of, um, just a lot of rain. It's been caught in the rain. Uh, been caught in the rain a couple of times riding, but overall she's quite dirty. I know Harley Davidson has a um, has their own breed, and that's meant to be quite good. But I thought I'd give this Motel uh, matte surface clean a go. Um, it has some quite uh, interesting instructions. Um, it says not to do this in direct sunlight. Um, it talks about how flammable it is, so take a lot of care with this product. Keep it. Um, I'd, I'd be storing it somewhere in a cool, um, a cool, dry place as well. Anyway, let's give it a go. Uh, shake for use, spray and spread with a clean cloth, clean and soft cloth. Let's stand for three minutes, then wipe with a clean and soft cloth. Do not use it under direct sunlight. Now, also you'll see on my bike, there's a um, nasty, um, looks like a bit of a tar. I'm gonna see if this product will remove it. So I've sprayed it all over the bike. It says spread it, but it just doesn't seem to do a good, seems like I'm not dispersing it well enough when I use the cloth. So I'm just gonna let it sit there for three minutes. I've got the countdown timer on and we'll see. I'll give it a wipe down and see how it comes up. Uh, I've got the clean cloth ready to go. Now it's got quite a few danger warnings. I don't know if I can focus on this well enough, but it pretty much says uh, extremely flammable aerosol, pressurized container may burst if heated. Contains a whole heap of chemicals. I'm not going to try to pronounce methyl cyanide. Oh, no. May produce an allergic reaction. If medical advice is needed, have product and container in hand. Keep out of reach of children. Keep away from heat sparks, open flames, hot surfaces. No smoking. Do not spray an, on an open flame or other ignition source. Pretty much stuff you wouldn't do anyway. Avoid breathing. Dust, fume, gas, or spray. Overall, not too bad. Brings it up. It does give it a protective coat. Um, if your paintwork's faded a little, and it mine has, if you compare it that side to that side, you can see a bit of fade along there. It highlights that a little more, so something to be careful on. Uh, if it's deeper dirt, you really need probably need to give it a bit longer. So I'm going to do that area again, and I might even take the seat off to give it a proper clean. All right, so. A uh, slight bonus, I was able to, I cleared the um, bar ends and the mirror and it come up quite good. And it does a, it does a decent job, but I really think this is, um, it's only if the bike's slightly dirty. Mine was very dirty, it was, um, it had been rained on, I'd been out in the country and it, it really needed a good clean. I think this product is fine just to get, do a light clean, get the dirt off or light dust off. But if it's really dirty, just say like at this level, like that this bike is, uh, the Solaro, I don't think I don't think it will be ideal. The engine, I've got to polish the pipes again, so it's not really good for that. But if you just stick to the paintwork and the matte plastic fin uh, parts of the bike, it, it seems to do a fairly decent job. Now I ended up getting that uh, tar. There's still a little bit on there, but I'll do it again. Um, I just used a, um, what I had lying around, which is the, um, I think this is just a turtle wax bug and tar remover. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I couldn't tell you for certain. And I got that off. Then I hit it again with the matte finish and it, it, done, it got it off at least. Um, me personally, I think if it, as dirty as this bike was, it done a decent job, but I don't think it does as good a job as 
washing it. I'd be washing it first. I'd get all the major dirt off first. Then maybe use this um, cleaner because it puts a bit of a protectant on it. But it says not to do that when it's wet, it's got to be dry. So that's exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be, I'd wash the bike first, dry it properly. Then the next day I'd hit it with, I'd hit it with the cleaner, go over it that way. But overall, not too bad. As I said, good for a quick clean or a lightly dirty bike, heavy dirty bike, I'd stick to washing. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. I'll do a follow up on it and we'll see, um, see if my thoughts have changed on it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Um, every little bit helps. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next vid. So it's been a day since I cleaned it and having a look at it in the sunlight, it does look, um, it does come up quite nice. Um, especially with, I'm not the greatest um, person for cleaning vehicles. So yeah, overall happy with the product. Just would probably wash it if it was um, too heavily soiled.